Let's create a machine that can help us. Yeah! We can use mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering is when you design a new machine to solve a problem. To solve our blaster fish problem, we need to design a machine that can go fast across the water, like a speedboat. But we also need to break apart those cannonballs. So let's give our machine something really strong, like a jackhammer. Check it out. We just designed the world's first monster machine jackhammer speedboat. Time to test our machine. The blaster fish just blasted two cannonballs. And here comes one more. How many cannonballs are there all together? Three. Right. Two cannonballs headed this way! And here come two more! How many are there all together? Four! Yeah! One! Two! Three! Four! Oh, yeah! We almost made it across the ocean! But that blaster fish isn't giving up! It just blasted one cannonball! And four more! How many cannonballs are there all together? Five! Right! One, two, three, four, five! Let's invent a machine! Yeah! We can use mechanical engineering. That's when you design new machines to solve problems. I know. Let's design a machine that has big tanks full of water. And a special blaster that can shoot the water. And a giant scissor lift to lift us to the top of the building. Check it out. We used mechanical engineering to design the world's first monster machine, Sky Sprayer. Wow, Blaze! I've never seen a machine like this! Going up! Sky Sprayer Blast! Yeah. Uh-oh! The water's not hitting those flowers! Come on! Help us aim the hose! To hit these flowers, should we spray higher or lower? Higher! Yeah! All right, we're watering them. And now the flowers are blooming. Come on, let's water some more. Sky sprayer, blast. To hit the flowers, should we spray higher or lower? Lower, yes. Yeah, they're blooming. Just one more, Blaze. Last flowers dead ahead. Sky Sprayer, left! To water these last flowers, should we spray to the left or to the right? To the right! Woohoo! We did it! We watered all the flowers! Hang on, AJ! We're going down! <laughs> it's okay, Sparky. We can fix the bridge. We just need to do structural engineering. Spark. Structural engineering is when you figure out how to build things so they can hold lots of weight. Switching to visor view. For us to get across, the bridge needs to hold a weight of 10 tons. But right now, the supports can only hold two tons. We need to fix those holes in the supports. AJ, over here! I found some pieces to make the bridge stronger! Good going, Stripes! 
To fix the first support, we need a piece that's shaped like this. Which of these pieces has the same shape? That one, yeah! Come on, let's put it on the bridge. Yeah! Perfect fit! Spark! Now the bridge can hold this much weight. What number is that? Four! Yeah! But for us to drive across, it has to hold a weight of ten. Spark! Let's look for a piece to fix the next support. The piece we need is shaped like this. Which piece has the same shape? One. Right! I'll handle this! Sparky! Ah! Yeah! Good throw, Stripes! Now the bridge can hold this much weight. What number is that? Seven! Yeah! We just need one more piece to fix that last support! Spark! Spark! Help us find a piece that's shaped like this. Which piece has the same shape? That one! Yeah! yeah. Alright! Now the bridge can hold a weight of... 10! It's safe for us to cross! Oh, Zeg have to get to Egg, but falling rock's too big. Don't worry, Zeg. We can fix this problem. We'll engineer a solution. We need something with a big wedge to bust up those boulders. Like an excavator-mounted jackhammer. It's a powerful machine that bangs things with a wedge to make them break. Pow! Great idea. Come on. Help turn me into an excavator-mounted jackhammer. First, we need the wedge. That's the part with the pointy end that can split the big rocks. To make the wedge, say, wedge. Wedge. All right. Now we need a piston that goes up and down to bang on the flat part of the wedge. To make the piston, say, piston. Piston. Great. And last, we need a boom arm that's strong enough to move the jackhammer. To make the boom arm, say, boom arm. Boom arm! Oh, yeah! I'm a jackhammering monster machine! Ooh! Come on, everyone! Let's go bust some boulders! Hang on, Egg! Zeke and Zeke friends are coming! To get all the way to the egg, we've got to break the rocks as soon as we see them. So when you see a rock, say, rock! Rock! Yay! It worked! Say, think more rocks coming! Bust them, Blaze! Let's do it! Whenever you see a rock coming, say, rock! Rock! Crusher's bow and arrow toy couldn't shoot far enough to grab the presents. Hey, I know. Let's be engineers and build a better bow and arrow. Engineers are scientists who figure out how to build new things. Yeah! Maybe instead of a small bow, we can make a giant bow that's really bendy so it can launch the arrow extra far. Come on, let's turn me into a super bow and arrow. 
First, our bow needs long, bendable limbs that can launch an arrow really far. To make the limbs, say, limbs. Limbs! Great! Now we need a strong bowstring to bend the limbs. To make the bowstring, say, bowstring. Bowstring! Last, we need an arrow with a giant suction cup for grabbing presents. To make the suction cup arrow, say, suction cup arrow. Suction cup arrow! Oh yeah! I'm a super bow and arrow monster machine! All right! Now let's test our bow and arrow to see if it can grab those presents. Switching to visor view. This line shows how far the arrow is going to go. Whoa, that's far. But I don't think we're aiming in the right place. To hit the presents, should we aim lower or higher? Higher! Now will it hit the presents? Yes! Launching the arrow! You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nickelodeon's Blaze and the Monster Machine's YouTube channel for new videos every week.